Okay, so before we get started with putting together our organ, I think it's very important that we take a step back and figure out exactly what we want to do and how we're going to do it. And this will help you avoid um, the many blunders that I made, such as um, just trying to do it off the cuff, which is what happened in that corner over there with all these mini wires coming <laughs> everywhere and it was just a headache um, so it actually would have worked had I used the right kind of switches but anyway I'll get into that in a moment so let's first talk conceptually so if we imagine our first first our first role first job that we need to accomplish is constructing a contact board for our pedal board so over here is our pedal board right on the top of the pedal board, we have, um, you can see the top of each pedal. When you press the pedal down, it moves it like a lever, right? So at the end of each pedal, we have uh, magnets. And on these magnets, and what these magnets do is they allow us to trigger what's called a reed switch. And I'll explain all this in a moment. And this is going to relay electrical information from our mechanical, ac mechanical action of pressing down the pedal um, and sending that electrical output to our computer. I mean, our, that message out to the computer, which will become an input into the computer. Anyway, that's the basic idea. So here, imagine, this is our pedal board. The black dots are the magnets on the, each of, on the end of each pedal. These little um, squares here are going to represent um, what we're going to use to mount pieces of wood that we're going to use to mount our reed switch. So this is what this is here. So imagine this is this square is this square here, just turned over on this other side. So this will be pressed downward, right? And then this will activate the switch, which is over here. So here's our switch. It's going to be, we're going to to have the switch held in place using two screws and some um, and some and some nuts to hold it in place, and so when you press the pedal down, it will come down and then activate the switch. So here, what I'm showing now is more kind of like this 3D view of it, right? So <laughs> you can see my drawing abilities are kind of limited. This is. Um, looking from the pedal side in. So the pedal will come down and activate. This will be the switch, this narrow line right here. And then these are the screws that will be anchoring our um, wooden reed switch holder in place. So they'll be screwing in this way, right? Um, yeah, and then these will act as electrical contacts, which I show here. Um, these screws will be, and then we'll run a wire from here. So here's an outlet giving us power. The power is going to run along this bottom wire, right? And then this will just provide a continuous amount of electricity or current flowing through this wire. But because the reed switch hasn't been activated yet, the current cannot flow out through um, the other end to the computer. See, electrical signal output to the computer. So what we need to do is press the pedal so it will activate the switch and then allow the current to flow out to our computer. And the computer can recognize which current is coming from which pedal and give us our organ sound. So that's the gist of it. Here I show just in more detail how we are going to mount the reed switch. So imagine again these are our wood holders for our reed switch, right? The reed switch, so this is our wooden holder right here, this dark line. And then our reed switch will be on this side. The pedal, the pedal will be here on this side, right? So when you depress the pedal, it will activate the switch. Now remember, our input wire will be sending in current from this side. So let's start here. Current coming in through this wire. This wire will be anchored to a washer, which will then transfer the current through the bolt, or through the, through the uh, screw, to another washer, which will then throw the current 
up through this reed switch. When you depress the pedal, the current will continue through our switch into the next wire, through this washer, which will be connected to a screw, back through the board, right, out to another washer to our output wire, which is going to go to our computer. And that's pretty much the circuit. So we're going to have 32 of these, um, of this little system set up because there's 32 notes on our pedal board. And this can be modified for each, um, each individual instrument that you may be using. The next step will be to construct our contact slash encoder encasement, which is going to protect our reed switches on the um, top end of our pedal board. Um, so how this is going to work is we're going to use um, <clears throat> some wooden, small wooden pieces as risers, which are going to sit on the edge of the pedal board. Here, I can show you right here. Sit on this end right here, right? And this is just going to raise it up so that we can lay another piece of wood across the top over our contacts, which are going to sit right here. This will make so much more sense when I actually build it, which I haven't started building yet. So it actually may make more sense to me too once I start building it, see if it actually works. But So we're going to have risers on either side, and then we're going to have um, uh, a lid. Well, first we're going to put that board I mentioned across the end, and this is going to protect our contacts from bumping against a wall or anything like that. And then we're going to lay a slender piece of wood on top of this board, um, which will protect it further. And then we'll just run our wires out through the board and then have our encoder um, here, but just on the inside of our board. I think that's where I'll put it anyway. And then that's pretty much it. So we'll have contacts with reed switches here. And then we'll have our circuit running this way. So current coming in through one out through the read switch and then out to the computer. And then we'll build our lid, so to speak, for protecting our contacts. So the next part of the video, I'll talk about what, um, what materials that we're gonna need to use.